So there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of viewpoints, a lot of emotion being expressed this week in the media, on social media, regarding the report that has said that the Collingwood Football Club has been a place where there's been systemic racism over many years. Very troubling, very disturbing report. Now, of course, when you think about this, when you think about something which is systemic, it means that this has been allowed from management level, from people sort of in charge of various areas. And I don't think this is limited to Collingwood Football Club. This is in any organization, any area in life where people are making judgments, are treating others differently based on their color, based on their belief system even. And I think it's, it's a wake-up call for society. And we've had, unfortunately, a number of wake-up calls over the last while. But it's time to listen. In fact, you know, a number of the Collingwood players, people of color, who spoke up against the club, it doesn't, I don't know if they weren't believed or they were pushed aside or it was ignored, and now everybody's screaming, you know, how could this happen? But in fact, it's upon each and every one of us. You know, if it's systemic, it means that there would have been people at the club, in Collingwood's case, who may have heard a racist remark, who may have seen someone being treated differently based on their color of their skin, and allowed it to happen. That is unacceptable. And as I said, it's a time for reflection for every single person to think about how do you treat others who may believe differently to you, who may look differently to you. Do you make assessments and judgments solely based on how they look? And if that is the case, then, then unfortunately that is racist. We have to become people who judge each other by the way we behave. Our God-given color of our skin, how we look, if we're tall, if we're short, if we're big, if we're small, that's what God chose for us. Each of us are God's children. And I think in this week's parasha, we're going to read the Ten Commandments. And you have to notice that when it comes to the Ten Commandments, when we, say, when we speak about the second half of the Ten Commandments, which are the ones telling us what we shouldn't be allowed to do or what we're not allowed to do, the Torah doesn't waste words. It gets straight to the point. Lord Tirzach, do not murder and so on. Lord Tignov, do not kidnap. And the obvious indication that the Torah is showing us is that when it comes to calling out something which is wrong, it's not time to start thinking and analyzing and questioning. If you hear or see something that is wrong, it should be called out immediately. It should be unequivocal. And sadly, when it's not, when you allow it to happen, and each of us, if you allow something to happen and you hear something and you don't call it out, then, of course, it perpetuates. It allows things to continue. We have to be unequivocal, just like the Torah was. When it's telling us the things that are not allowed, it doesn't mince words, it doesn't waste time. It says, don't do this. This is wrong. That's wrong. I think as a society, we have to continue. And fortunately, there has been a lot of work, but clearly it seems there's still a lot more work to do. So hopefully, this report will inspire not only the sporting world, and of course, as somebody who's a great sports lover, you know, sports is supposed to be a place of unity, a place of bringing people together, not a place which you know, discriminates and treats people differently. So hopefully this can inspire everybody, no matter what type of environment, whether it's in a religious organization, in your home, in a sporting organization, in a club, anywhere, to make sure that we treat each other with respect, with dignity, to remember we're all God's creatures. And of course, that it's our merits of our actions that are important, not the color of our skin. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and hopefully good news going forward.